Okay. All right. Now, what you were saying now, you got you. So you, what what happened? You you posted a video, right? And yeah. And it was showing that that contraption thing that you brought, right? It's, it's called a harness. It's a it's a harness. It's a thigh harness. A thigh. That's that's, that's a, 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 It's a thigh harness. What what the yep. hell is a thigh harness? Uh, it's, I'm, the way I look at it, it's nothing different. It's like um, body jewelry. You know, it's no different than wearing a necklace, a bracelet, a uh, ankle a uh, ankle bracelet. It's it's in the same concept. But but you 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 got it. You you got the concept or the idea to get it from TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. They have a whole um, videos. It's on. a whole yeah. It's a whole video. It's a whole like it's a thing. It's a community. Oh my god! It's a whole community, and over there, I found myself over there one day, and I had always wanted one. I just didn't know what they were called or anything about it. And when I saw. One of the girls wearing it, then it just started, you know, throwing it at me. I started seeing more people with them on. I'm like, oh my god! And then I found out where to buy them. So I purchased them. Okay, so let me get this straight. Let let me see if I can understand this and wrap my head around this. It is called a thigh harness. So, yeah, what is supposed to? It's supposed to. It's it's decorative. uh, Oh, okay. uh, Okay, so there's no. There's there's no purpose of it other than it's just being decorative. Some decorative. Yeah. Like if you have yeah, on a dress, if, if you have on a dress or something like that. Yeah, it'd be like a woman wearing a dress and she had on like a, 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 the tuxedo bands. Like you guys, I like to wear y'all tuxedo bands or the women, they wear their comfort. Uh, what is that thing? It's not called a comfort bun. That's the thing on a tuxedo. Um the thing that they wear around, like when they get married, and they wear that corsage. Oh, no, it's not called a corsage. Oh, okay, because you know that thing they wear around their side when they get married. Right, because uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the, the little the little thing that goes around their thigh. But yeah, I, and, and the guy got to pull it it's off same, and 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 toss it's it. It's the same concept. Okay, it's the same exact concept. Okay, so okay, so if that's the same, if if that's the concept, okay, if if that's the concept. The only the only way to wear that thing is with a dress, not with no pants, right? No, you can wear it with pants. Are you serious? You, I, you, yeah, you can wear you can wear. Everybody doesn't like. Everybody's not going to wear them to be seen. You know, it, it just depends on the person. If that's what's making them sexy, right. they would wear it under clothes. You don't have to necessarily wear it under a dress. Okay, so I thought it was a gun harness. Me, I know. Me, I'm me and Diva. I just actually, me, me and Diva. I, I was going to comment on it, but Diva actually commented on it and said that said mm-hmm. what I thought it was. I, I thought it was a gun harness. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. No, I wish it was. <laughs> I would. I would love to have one of those too. <laughs> so oh it's so it's just all right. So it, it's just something sassy, something that you thought was cute. You you picked it up. Yeah. You made a video. Yeah. And mm-hmm. good old TikTok kicked in. Yeah. And and took it I down. I woke up that morning. It had 50,000 views, oh 4,000 comments. Oh my God. And yep. you know what? I think I, I think they do that on fucking purpose too. Because I had yep. a video. I had a video. It was it was a guy just talking about the uh about the young lady that's doing that uh that I uh, that What's that dude's name? Kodak Black and his song. Uh, and then mm-hmm. they got the little clapping in the in the background and you know, the ladies, you know, shaking their booties to it. So the young man was okay. just, he he was he was just uh he was just clowning with the one chick because she was part of the LBGQ community. But mm-hmm. you know, she turned around and she clapped to it and she got them cakes. And dude was like, No, <laughs> no, 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 you 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 don't do that, you know. So I did a I did a duet. I, I did a duet with the video, right? And mm-hmm. and and you know, it after a couple of days, it generated over ten thousand views and maybe mm-hmm. and maybe about a handful of comments. And then mm-hmm. I woke I, I woke up the next day and it says for uh it's uh community guidelines for bullying and, har- and harassment. And I'm like, 
Who the fuck is bullying and harassing who? So, you know, unfortunately, with you know, with the bullshit TikTok, um, you know, thing, you know, thingy when you put in to request a a quote unquote human being to look at it. Tell me why it. Mm-hmm. it tell me why it's still being looked at after after a couple of weeks now. Yeah, yeah, I just put it right back up. Now, the next one didn't do as good, but that one stays up. And I was like, oh, okay, it was going too fast. That's what happened. <laughs> it was going too fast. So the one so the one that you showed with your, you know, the one that me and Diva saw, that one's still up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that was my second time putting it up. But the other one, the, exact, the, 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 the other one that, that was doing good. Now, what now... Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the original video. So, what were you doing in the original video? The same thing that's in the one you saw. It's the same video. I I didn't do anything. I just put the video back up. So you just you was just sitting down. Like, yep, that just, same just, video. Just had the camera pointed at your nice little thigh. Thigh. With the mm-hmm. with the contraption on, and. Mm-hmm. And it and, and that one's still up, but the but the other one is 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 taken down. I, I don't get it. Right. You mean either? I, I don't get it. I so, think if it had went, if it had got so, enough views, I think they would have took it back down again. So what they say? What what was the reason why they took it down? Nudity. 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 Yeah, you, they said nudity. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you know, same thing. I said what? As, as, I'm like, there's not a boob. No. There's not a coot. No, it's not a butt cheek. No, <laughs> you mean to? T- like, you you got you got to be kidding me! As much nudity, bathing suits. I, I even seen a TikTok of a female breastfeeding her mm-hmm. two year old kid, and mm-hmm. they that's still up. See, I yep. keep I, I see. Listen, I keep telling y'all to yep. stop messing with TikTok, man. Keep telling y'all, y'all keep, you know, y'all, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to hear from this old man. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I keep telling y'all, like, y'all, it's, it's not made for us. Mm. Oh no, it's made. We, we've, we've taken it over. Our generation actually is the higher percentage of people on TikTok now. <laughs> generation uh, X, we are definitely dominated. Well, I, I can tell you, I, I can tell you what. There, there's a lot of domination going on on uh, on TikTok. Not only in the truckers, uh, not only in the trucker thing, but you also got the, you also got the LBGQ coming in. They taking over yeah. the BBWs. Mm-hmm. The B the BBWs mm-hmm. is taking over. Mm-hmm. I mean, just yeah. about just about any and everything. The the weird people is coming out and taking over. I seen. Oh. I seen two and no, you know, and no disrespect, and I I like them, you know, for what they doing. But I seen this one black dude without a jaw that's a DJ, and then I see yeah. this other white dude that look uh, the mm-hmm. other white dude that looks like that 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 comedian guy without a without a without a whole bottom half of his face, but he's a DJ. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all coming in, y'all, y'all coming in, taking this bitch over, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's, it's a good space um, for people to just be themselves and let people in on who they are, you know. And I think that's the problem that TikTok, you know, they need to stop because you know they're, you know, I know that people are talking about creative expression. Mm-hmm. For everybody, it's not creative expression. You know, it's right. a way of communication. Usually, these people would be. Um, isolated and not communicating with other people. But you know, I, so I, I applaud. I applaud it. You know, but, it's actually getting people communicating. But what I'm what I'm trying to understand is is like with some of the people that be posting on there, right? And they, you know, they mm-hmm. they, they they be posting their their entire lives. I had to come back and say, like, I mean, you know, for the people that come on there and get mad at the people in the comments, I mean, they it's like. It's like they actually fighting for their lives in the comments. And I'm like, look, mm-hmm. if you if you put it out there, <laughs> inspect to get ridiculed, inspect to get other people's opinions, inspect to get 
you know, somebody that's don't un either don't understand or don't like you prepare for the fact that they're going to come in your comments and say something. It ain't no point of you. It ain't no point of you to come back and make another video talking about what if you don't like me, all you have to do is keep scrolling. They're not going to do that. They they well, not going they, they to do that. You're going to appreciate that everybody everybody is um, emotionally equipped for that. You know, just because they opened up the box of social, you know, social media and social, you know, open them their lives up like that doesn't mean that they're emotionally capable of handling that kind of um, the throwback. So yeah, they're, I mean, but that just comes with growth as they they grow as their channel grow and as their brand grows. You know they will learn how to decipher and to ignore and to not let everything get under their, you know, under their skin. But at the beginning, you know, your skin is thin, you know, so you're not, cause you're not used to people just coming up there talking to you like that. I know the first few times I had somebody just come in crazy and you're like, Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> but I laugh at it. You know, it's funny to me because I'm a person who's been bullied my whole life. So for social media bullying, it's funny to me because, I'm I'm old school bullying. I'm used to people like jumping in my face trying to kick my ass. You putting right. some words in front of my face ain't doing nothing for me. Right. So, right. And you, you and, know. and the same people that's doing it is not going to come in your face though, for real. No, they never. they're not gonna they're not gonna come in your face. That's the mm -hmm. same that's the same no. thing with us YouTubers over here talking about, yo, pull up on me. I'm over here at truck stop such and such. I'm like, mm -hmm. I said in my live feed, mm -hmm. I said, bro, you pull up on me, I'm gonna put I'm gonna break this pipe out. Ain't no hands. <laughs> I, I ain't no hands. Right. Ain't no li see. listen to me. Listen to what I'm telling you. Right. Ain't ain't no hands. <laughs> I you know, call me a pussy, call me a punk. Ain't no hands gonna be touched. I'm gonna pick up this pipe and I'm gonna try my best <laughs> to knock you the fuck out with it. Mm -hmm. Ain't no yeah. hands here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, know. same so, yeah, thing. That's, so, a, that's the era I grew up in too. So right. Yeah, I get it. You know. I'm too that's old. Funny, you know. I'm I'm too old, man. Thanks. I'm I'm 52 years old. I'm I'm not out here trying to get mm -hmm. in no damn fist fight with nobody. Right, so we're about the same age, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we came up at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying I, to. I, I'm not trying to get in no fit. My yeah. fist fight days was over. Over. <laughs> I did my little fist fight. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And besides, you knew y'all new generation of motherfuckers. Y'all don't believe in fist fighting anyway, y'all. Y'all get your ass. No, y'all no. get your ass whooped, and then y'all run back to the car or run back home and come back and get a gun. If not a gun, you get a gang of motherfuckers to come with you so you can jump that one person. Y'all pussies they're out They're not here. even they're not even getting their ass whipped. They, just the thought of them might be able to get their ass whipped is making them just shoot people just exactly. because they thought they might get their ass kicked. Exactly. Y'all <laughs> you know, exactly. Y'all cats y'all cats out here is, is is soft, man. And y'all don't even think about the con the and the bad part about it is they don't even think about the consequences. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's why, I'd like, a lot of the single parents that I know mm -hmm. that's raising, like, sons, mm -hmm. I always encourage the mothers to put their sons in boxing because they're not getting it on the street. And it kind of, I'm trying to, like, bring back hand to hand combat mm -hmm. so that the boys can find another way of settling disputes besides just, you know, having to go and grab a gun and take a life. And take a life, you know, that changed your, that can change your life as well. Exactly. So, you know, let's get back to, you know, handle this stuff like men. Let's talk it out. Let's fight it out. You know, we need to be another day. And hell, you might even be friends later on down the road. You never that's, know. You and know? that's how a lot of us, that's how a lot of us in, in high school, you know, I had my, I had my, mm -hmm. you know, I got my ass whooped. I ain't going to lie, but I, I mm -hmm. whooped some ass too. But at the same mm -hmm. time, we we was able to come back to each other, slap hands, and go on about our business. And even years, right. and, and even and I'm friends with these people now. I mean, right. these are people that I'm friends with now. You know, they they used to bully me in grammar school, but those were the same ones that used to defend me in high school. You right. know, Year, <laughs> nobody years, else is going to bully me. Right, and years <laughs> later, you see, you know, years later, you'd be like, "Hey, what's going yeah. on, Sean? What's going on, Bill? Bill, Bill, is that you?" Right. Yeah, Sean, yep. that's me. You know, I man, I remember me and you know, but it, you know, but that's how that we live to talk about what happened mm -hmm. back in the day. 
Mm-hmm. See, when you get yeah. a gun, when you get a gun out and and just pop somebody, you don't get that opportunity. Nah, you know. Nah. And again, it mm-hmm. it it like you said, it, then you it, have your whole life to sit and sit down, you know, behind bars and think about that shit. It, and you'd be like, wow, that was kind of stupid. It changed you know, your life. It, yeah. it it changed it changed your it changed your life not only your life but it changes mm-hmm. you know the other people's lives that's affected by it so yeah, yeah. but yeah mm-hmm. man stop me I'm just saying stop fighting in the comments to these people that you don't even know just keep if, no, if you're gonna I'm, keep I would never fight if, with if you're gonna keep doing the damn thing keep doing you just just keep doing it you mm-hmm. know and. Don't don't you don't even and another thing, stop explaining yourself on this app, man. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Well, you saw how I explained myself. I was mm-hmm. talking to TikTok show on my next the next the video where I had it in my ear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, you and, so and when you way. when you when you be talking, you be so graceful when you speak. Hello, TikTok. <laughs> how you doing? I'll be like, I'll be like, uh, hi. How you doing? Like, I'll be like, damn, I'm talking to the fucking phone. What the fuck wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd be like, I'm I'm here with a yeah. message for you today. <laughs> I bet you, man, I bet you the guys that be what let me shut up. Never mind. Some of these guys is some of these guys is crazy when they be watching you, so be careful. Might get some dudes oh, yeah, that come yeah, no, might get, get some. Kind of- my I don't guess, know. I don't get that. You don't. Some, you some you, you, get you don't that. get dudes. Do, you don't. You don't get dudes that come in your DM. Well, in order to, no. you know what? In order for, in order to get DM on TikTok, now that's I do like the way that's set up. But in order to get DM mm-hmm. on TikTok, you actually have to follow each other. Oh, yeah. I guess that would make it awkward if you um, followed each other and you'd be like, okay, then you come off like a creep. <laughs> Right, and that's why I like I when I, I get that problem. It, it, that's when I be like when I when I send out an invite to somebody that I'm interested in talking to, I always you know put it in a comment session, and then I let them mm-hmm. know like yo you know let's connect and conversate by following each other because if you don't if I don't follow mm-hmm. you or you don't follow me I won't be able to know that you're in my message. That you know you won't uh, you that you're in my message that I won't even know that you're trying to get at me. Um, or yeah, vice I, versa. I never even realized that. Yeah, no, I uh, yeah, because I, I, I mean, I was so curious. Cause there was so many things on comments. I was just like, oh, I'm curious. What did they say? I didn't even read them. I'm like, I can't, even, I can't even see what they said. I, but so, then I probably, I probably might not have wanted to know what they said. So is honest. this still? If it was that many comments, I'm pretty sure. It, did you? Is this still up for appeal, or did they, or did they come back and yeah. actually gave and and tell you that no, um, it's 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 not going to be put back up because of uh, nudity. Um. Oh, you know what? I took it down. Oh. I, I um. Yeah, I I just believe you it. Just went I had it up there. It kept it. saying appeal, but it said this. It said nudity, and then I was like nudity. I was like, yeah, I lost down mine, and then I deleted it because <laughs> I was like, forget it. Because I want, I really wanted to see the comments, but then after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm you said fuck it. it. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Y'all can have that one. Like, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. But like I said, with so much bullshit that's on this app, man, it's is it it, it kind of makes me wonder that you know they they do that shit on purpose just to stop the growth of the video. Yeah, yeah, and that, or it could have been something that somebody was saying. I don't, I don't know. That's why I say I don't know if it was the actual video or was it the comments that was getting it flagged. I don't know because mm. if people were saying crazy things and then you know somebody else came in, they might have reported that person but it took down the whole page i don't know how that works because i've never had it before on right. any of my platforms never had this before so, so how how um uh, how has it been going for you so far like uh when the next time you're going out to uh i mean going back out on the road oh 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 um, i'll be back out monday oh, yeah okay. i had um came off the road because i'm switching carriers so i was been trying to finish my onboarding and everything like that. Oh, okay. So you so 
That's right. You you are owner operator, right? You you own your own. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah. why are you why are you switching carriers? What happened? If I may be nosy. Oh no no um I'm just trying out a, a different one. Um, the one I'm at they take like thirty five percent. This mm -hmm. one's supposed to only take fifteen. So I'm just trying to see what they're about. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Yeah. It's about more, more money. Everything more, up. more money. More money. In right. My more money in your pocket, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try to keep, see if I can keep more money in my pocket. And if not, my next move is just going to head out all the way out. <laughs> what yeah. did we talk about? Did, did we talk about you on having your own authority already? Did 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 we talk about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So why not just why why not instead of just going to carrier to carrier why not just boom just start your your authority? Well, when when I had, when I came out to do my own authority, that's when the trailer stuff happened. Oh, okay. And I'm on a year waiting list. Oh, oh, <laughs> fuck! A year? Yeah. You know, but yeah, buying one trailer. Mm -hmm. I'm competing with people buying 10, 20, 30, 100, 200 trailers. Right. So for me, it's kind of hard. So the two places that I'm on a waiting list, I keep getting pushed back. And now I'm hearing a year. And I'm Fuck. like, oh. So they, okay. they don't, they, they don't want to show you no love, you know, because you only you, yeah. you only there like, yeah, how many trailers you want? You know how they come on the phone and be like, yeah, right. so how, exactly. how many trailers you right. want? Like, I, I, just need one. I only need it's one. Like, all right, uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, but if I find like a used one, you know, if I can find a used one um, that's not all decrepit. Yeah, then I, I probably would just go ahead and grab that. I even tried to rent one. I can't even rent one. I caught uh, Premier on Star, uh, or Star, whatever it is. Probably they, 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 they're not dealing with you. They're, they're wow. like, no, one, um, you know, well, I'm like, okay. Even, 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 even just to, to, to rent one is, is, it's hard to, mm -hmm. to come by, man. I heard. I got, I if, got friends that they, they were lucky enough to rent one, but they're paying like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a week. Wow. On their so, on their truck on their trailer rental. So if you if you decide to go and get more than one trailer, say like maybe three or four, then you you you'll be bumped up from waiting for a year then to maybe about two or three months, huh? Maybe, but That's, I doubt it. That's crazy. I doubt it. I, I I have carrier friends that trying to get uh like ten. A year? You know, I some of them are like if they if they get there, they'll they'll um throw me one. You know, but I still gotta wait to see if they get there. A year though. That's mm -hmm. and would yeah, you would you not... would you attest this to COVID shit? To be honest, um, uh, I I I'm not really. I think it has a small part to do with it. I just think that right now it is the influx, influxation of people right now. It's, they say, I just heard today that there was 20,000 new carriers this quarter alone. That's crazy. That's, and that's a big thing to try to keep up with.